Okay, before we jump into this video, we have some important things to acknowledge. First thing first, you're gonna see this light here pop up from time to time in a video because I'm gonna most likely move around a little bit. I've been trying to figure out the lighting to get it perfect and I just can't figure it out for the sake of my life. So you're gonna see that. Second, oh my God, we have to discuss this. We just hit a thousand subscribers on a YouTube channel. By the way, if you're not subscribed, definitely go subscribe. But that means the world to me. It shows that you guys are actually enjoying these videos. Typically, a YouTube channel takes a year to two years to hit a thousand subscribers. I just started creating videos again, I wanna say in like March. And for you guys to already get me, get us to a thousand subscribers, it means a lot. It makes me wanna create more videos and just share more booming content with you all and then third okay the most important thing right you see me you see it i got a new haircut i know what you ladies probably thinking i'm sorry i am off the market however i can still provide a ton of content here on this channel and that's what we're going to focus if you don't know who i am basically my name is Jerrell Henry. I'm the founder of Artist Rise. And in the past two years, not going on three years at this point, we sold over $2 million in artwork, which is something I'm super proud of. But today, today, mm -hmm, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite topic, how to get Instagram Reels actually going. Before we jump into it, I'm going to state it again. Hit the subscribe button. It just helped my own, I guess, self-esteem or so. And it makes me want to provide more videos for you guys. With that being said, we're going to go after 2,000 next. Hopefully, we can hit that by tomorrow. <laughs> but seriously, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So you may be wondering, Gerard, there's a ton of videos about reels, right? So how are you going to talk about reels? Well, why do you feel like you even have the right to talk about reels? I mean, honestly, I probably don't have the right. I'm no Instagram guru expert guy. However, I did help one of my artists hit... 28 million views million with an m i also helped that same artist hit another video with 19 million views as well as helped another artist i work with reach 659,000 instagram accounts in five weeks so it's safe to say i might could share a little tips here and there to help you improve your reels also i'm not going to talk about what everybody talk about we're not going to talk about using the right hashtags we're not going to talk about using sounds that are trending these are the things everyone talk about when it comes to reels i'm going to talk about the things no one talk about that i noticed to work really really well and having success at growing on instagram specifically using reels i'm done talking about what i'm going to talk about and now let's actually do it so with that being said it comes down to a few couple things you want to do first thing first and this is the most important thing and that's an entire video of its own but hopefully you should have this down pat if you're here you must create beautiful artwork it's as simple as basic artwork don't get views because no one is sharing basic art draw it what's beautiful artwork i'm not here to tell you what's beautiful artwork i mean that's an entire another video of its own that's something i can talk about in the future if you guys want me to talk about that but you must create beautiful artwork i will say this in short, you could describe beautiful artwork as artwork that makes people want to share it with their friends. And this also plays back to reels. If you could simply do this one thing correctly, which is creating beautiful art that makes people want to share it with their friends, you will instantly start going viral and getting views when it comes to your reels. But I just say you don't have the most beautiful artwork. Here's what you want to do. First thing first, uh, I guess the second at this point. Second thing second, what you want to do is go on Instagram find those instagram accounts the everyday people who get a ton of views on their reels i mean a ton a ton right when i say a ton you want to look for the high six figures figures the high hundred thousands maybe two hundred thousand views three hundred thousand views and more importantly this is what you want to do don't look at the instagram accounts that have a million followers or 900,000 followers because of course they want to get a ton of views look at the Instagram followers that have maybe 50,000 60,000 and then when you look at their reels look for that one reel that end up blowing up that's usually how it starts it starts on one reel blowing up blowing up means it got 300,000 plus views if you have 100,000 that's still fine but find a collection of those reels and here's what you want to do second Third, <laughs> what you want to do third is once you figure out those reels from the different Instagram accounts that's getting a ton of views, what you want to do is you want to mimic what they're doing in their reels because it's working. The easiest way to succeed is to follow success. 
which is why if you're not working with me, you probably should go schedule a call with my team. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. If you want to succeed, follow what's already working for others. The easiest way to do this is to see which ones have the most views and then mimic that. When I say mimic it, create a very similar reel to that. Use the same sound, use the same strategy, use the same technique, like whatever they're doing. They're doing like short time-lapse videos that are changing in small little cuts. Do exactly that. Especially if you see the same trend or the same style of video doing well across multiple Instagram accounts. So that's three. So first, great work. Second, do your homework and see who creating the best reels on Instagram. Third, start the test and do that. Do what they're currently doing. Don't try to create your own style of reels. Don't try to get creative. Don't try to have fun and be unique and be different. Just follow what work. I promise you it'll work because it already worked, right? That's no secret. So here's the thing. Once you're at step three and you know what's working for other artists on Instagram, start testing those reels. And this is an ongoing process. You should always be testing and testing and testing and testing new ideas until you get to step four, five. Okay, these steps are all over the place. But until you get to the next step, the next step is when you find something that's slightly working. You don't have to work like crazy, just slightly work. What I mean by this, if you normally get 300 views on your reels and your next reel get 3,000 views, start doing more of that. Don't get creative. Do what's working and continue to do what's working. Then you're going to see yourself start to average 3,000 views. And then next thing you know, you're going to see one drill get maybe 7,000, 10, 30, right? And then you start mimicking that. And you start mimicking it over and over and over again. The next thing you know, you have one reel out of nowhere just get 500,000 views. When you have that reel get 500,000 views, just continue to do that. Do not change it. This is exactly how my artists end up having one video, one reel, do a million views. And then now about every one out of three reels will hit a million views because you just constantly do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it just works. So here's the takeaways. I don't want this video to be crazy long. And I'm telling you what actually work. Not what I think work. Not what everyone is saying. This is what work. First thing first, you need to create great artwork. As far as creating great artwork, that would be an entire different video. Second thing, second, once you're creating great artwork, find who's creating the best reels. And the way you judge reels is by views, obviously. So find those Instagram accounts, those artists who are um, doing well at reels, and look for their best reel. And the best one is the one with the most views, as I mentioned. After you do that, start testing what's working for them. So you just do exactly, once again, exactly what's working for them. Apply it to your own Instagram. And then third, once you see something working, even if it's working slightly, do more of that. So get out of the testing phase and just do what's constantly working. And it's going to continue to work until one of your reels blow up. And then once that reel blow up, then you're going to strictly do what blown up. So whatever worked, just keep doing that. And just rinse and repeat. And just rinse and repeat. What's going to happen is not every reel is going to go crazy and do really well. But if you constantly do what's been working, then every one out of a few reels is going to just blow up. And then you're going to see your following go crazy. One of my artists is now at, I want to say, maybe 80,000. I'll put Febreze on the screen here. And that's strictly from reels for the most part. He's been having crazy growth recently all through reels. That's what you should do. If you just find out about me, once again, my name is Jerrell Henry. I'm the founder of Artist Rise, and I create videos in my free time. And when my time is not free, I'm helping artists sell a lot of artwork. And if you would love to be one of those artists, you'll go to artistrise.com and figure your way through it to schedule a call with my team. With that being said, I hope you subscribe by this point. And if not, definitely subscribe. And with that being said, I'll be seeing you on the next video.